when do you think that repeat applicants should start thinking about perhaps pursuing another avenue in healthcare? <laughs> so we certainly have had applicants that have, I, think I actually saw one several years ago that applied to medical school 10 years in a row. Oh gosh. That's a lot. Yeah. Um, so I would say that, you know, what I would say to students is if they don't get in the first time, try it again. Sure. Don't try it with the same application. Um, I can't tell you the number of applications that I've read that are exactly the same as the year prior. Same personal statement, same letters of recommendation. If it didn't work the first time, it's not gonna work the second time, okay? So strengthen it, reach out, find either a medical school person or somebody like you that can really help them to strengthen their application and look at where it might not be meeting the um, the interests of the medical schools. So if they can really have somebody assess it and say, you know, this is where you're falling short and then they can address it, that's great. But once you get to four or five applications, I, I probably look at something else, you know, look at something that's health related, but not necessarily medical school. Um, you know, sometimes students will say, well, what about PA? Well, <laughs> PA, quite frankly, we have a PA program and um, I think it, that it's as hard, if not harder to get into than medical school. Wow. Right. So, you know, but, but I think four times is certainly the 10 year guy was, it was tough and it, you know, it might be time to think about something else. Right. Right. I'm sitting here because I sometimes have com conversations with medical school applicants and I'll say something like, you know, I applied last year and I got interviews and the, and the feedback I got was that I blew my interviews. So I'm basically going to use the same application, you know, same personal statement, same MMEs for this year's application. And I'll say, well, it didn't work. Why are you going to use it again? Because, well, I got the interviews and the feedback was that my interviews were the problem, not the essay. Right. What would you say to that? I'll tell you what I said. He didn't, you know, again, there's one like conversation it. I'm thinking he didn't like it at all. No, he didn't like what I had to say, but. I, I would say that even if they got the interview and they submitted yeah. the exact same application that I would reject their application. Okay. And I would do that because what I'm looking for is growth from year to year. I'm looking exactly for what, what I told them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Go ahead. Please keep, please keep talking. I, yeah. I'm looking for what you've done different and what you've done that has further motivated you to pursue medicine. So just because you got those interviews last year doesn't mean that all of that clinical work, all of that maybe research, all of those personal statements are going to do it again. Because I'm also going to have other applicants that could potentially look a little bit better than you, right? Well, those other applicants will be showing growth in the last year and the reapplicant won't. Right. 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 And so it's all about that growth. But but you also can't say because it worked this year, it will work again next year because the applicant pool is going to be very, very different. And there's yeah. nothing to say that because you got an interview last year means that you're going to do it again. If so that if you were to review an application like as, as I just described, would you feel also that the applicant isn't showing much commitment to the process? maybe a certain laziness um, or no, that wouldn't be a factor for you. Yeah, no, I would think that, that I would think that they kind of just assumed that what worked is going to work again. Mm -hmm. And I don't think they ever assume that. Okay. So I, I, I think that there would be a little bit of a question in my head about laziness. <laughs> right. Right. Okay.